Hi, my name is Victor with SpiceGnome.com and welcome to Spice and Advice. Today we're going to make booze. We are going to make coquito, which is an equivalent, well, not an equivalent. It's kind of like an eggnog, but it has booze. It has Puerto Rican rum. It's so good. I make it every year. I give it as gift to my neighbors. I give it as gift to my friends and they love it. Of course, I always keep some at home because it's delicious and people love it. You can make it with rum, you can make it without rum. I, I make some for a friend of mine who doesn't drink alcohol and I just make it without it. It's as good, well, no, it's better with the rum. But I mean, not everybody likes rum. I like Puerto Rican rum, always Puerto Rican rum. It's the best. The ingredients for this recipe are evaporated milk, coconut milk, Condensed milk, you'll see a theme here. Good old Puerto Rican rum. A pinch of ground cloves. And half a teaspoon of cinnamon, powder cinnamon. And half a bar of our cream cheese. It's like eight ounce, uh, four ounces, something like that. Cream cheese. Usually the coquito doesn't have cream cheese. But I like to put the cream cheese because it makes it creamier. It gives it that little extra that is just addicting. It's really, really good. All you need is a blender, pitcher, and spoons. And we're gonna start. We open. The first thing I try to do is I like to start with a condensed milk because it's thick, it's very thick. So I put, I put it in the blender, I mix some of the other milks that are more looser and I put my spices in. That way I blend it really well and then the other ones I can just throw into the pitcher and it'll be fine. Condensed milk is really sweet so this doesn't need any sugar at all. It's already sweet enough. Then I'm gonna put coconut milk. We're gonna put the spices. And then we're gonna put the cheese. We're gonna cover it. And all you want to do is make sure that the cheese has liquefied with all of the other uh, liquids. And then you want to make sure that your spices are distributed and you don't have clumps. That's, that's all you need. It's not, it doesn't take very long. Now, I'm gonna put it. We're gonna take the evaporated milk. And the rum. And here is when you're going to decide how boozy you want it. Coquito has to be boozy. I mean, if it doesn't have enough rum, it, it's okay, but it's much better when it's boozy. Um, I use, always, I use dark rum. I prefer dark rum. You can use white rum and you can use spice rum. I would not go with any other flavored rum because it's gonna mess up the flavor of your coquito. I had had it when people have put mint or they had put uh, other flavor. No, no, don't mess it up. Just spice rum, dark rum, or light rum. That's all you need. Of course, good Puerto Rican rum. I love Don Q. And what I do is I put it in the can of the condensed milk because there's still a little bit of the milk and the rum helps to loosen it up. And as you see, I'm putting a whole can. And it again. Now we take it, mix it with the other one in the pitcher. Yeah. 
And then all you do is you just mix it with a spoon. And then you bottle it. What I do is I save throughout the year, I'm saving all of my screw top bottles, any kind of wine or any drink that I have that have a screw top bottle, I save it. And then what I do is when I'm getting ready to make the coquito, I take the bottles, I clean them with a little bit of bleach, rinse them really well, and then I put them in a pot or in a container with some warm water and a little bit of soap. And what that is gonna do is gonna take the label and it's gonna loosen it up. And then I have found this incredible little tool. It's just a little blade. And then all you do is you just scrape your label off. It comes off, it creates, scrapes all that glue from it. And now you have a beautiful bottle that is empty. So now all we do, unscrew your bottle. I already cleaned it. Get rid of the little bit of water that I have left. Funnel. And just fill your bottle up. This has to be stored in the fridge because it has a lot of milk. So um, if you don't have a lot of room for big bottles in your uh, refrigerator, you can use mason jars, different size of mason jars. You can use pretty much any glass jar. And what I like to do is I like to put a label on the bottle where, of course, I'm saying it's coquito and I make sure that I mention it has rum so people know that it has rum and sometimes I even put the ingredients just to make sure that if somebody has an allergy to something, they know they're aware of what's in the ingredients. And that's it. It's a great gift and it's going to make your holiday season incredible. And that is it. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel because I will be making a lot more recipes, a lot of more cool stuff that you want to make. And also ring that bell so you can receive a notification every time a new video comes on. Thank you so much for watching and please check out some my Facebook, facebook.com slash spice and advice. Ask me questions. I love to tell people what to do. Ho ho ho! Happy Holidays! Oh God, no, it needs more rum. Thank goodness I'm not driving anywhere after this. Ah, let's put it all in, what the heck. You only live once.